It was tase, shot, shot, shot. Late Sunday night, police shot and killed Stephen Iggy Dadam, a Mi'kmaq man from El Sabogdok. This is the sixth time in under two weeks a First Nations person was killed by police in Canada. Within four minutes of them entering Iggy's home, uh, he was already tasered and shot. Tasered and shot three times. And then handcuffed. And said that he was under arrest. Four minutes. We want this to stop. We don't want the RCMP to keep killing our community members. The community is very shocked, but and at the same time very angry. How many people in our, our community is gonna lose before we start to see something change? Like we deserve to have a ceremony. We deserve to like hug him, kiss him, say our last goodbye. And they didn't even want to give us that. Instead, he died surrounded by, it seemed like 50 cops in there, when he should have been surrounded by us. Like, he died alone with the cops. And that's not right. Nobody should die like that. New Brunswick's independent police watchdog confirmed a dam was shot three times during a wellness check. Since very shortly after the shooting, community members gathered and have remained outside the RCMP detachment in El Sabotok offering support with the sacred fire. There's also a drop-in center, daily sweat lodges, and mental health workers for those who witnessed. The community is remaining strong in their fight for justice for Iggy. This marks the third fatal shooting of a First Nations person by police in New Brunswick in under five years.